Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Weligama, Sri Lanka, and it's an honor to be here. I'm with David, the hungry tourist on his best of Sri Lanka food tour. Today is gonna be an unbelievable Sri Lankan food day. We've been invited by Uchit and Nick and Laki and his entire, their entire family who are from Weligama in southern Sri Lanka. They're gonna cook for us a home cooked, everything cooked traditional over fire in clay pots. We're gonna have a lot of fun. We're gonna eat a lot of delicious, incredible food today. Good, how are you? Good, good, good. Good to see you again. Hi, hi. We got here a little bit early, but they have already started cooking some of the traditional dishes from southern Sri Lanka. This is a beautiful tropical compound. Uh, the Nelson family, they own uh, and operate a wood mill. So there's logs, they're making planks of wood. It's gonna be all outside, everything cooked over fire. You can already smell the spices in the air. And then Auntie is in charge of cooking in the back. Uh -huh. They have no gas stove and also they have the old fashioned one to wow. get the flavor. Awesome. Yeah. Fire stove. Absolutely, the car is going back to flavor. Mango chutney. Amazing. Okay, cool. <laughs> and then they have the, the mango chutney prepared. Uh, the family is very well known for this. Oh, wow. Oh, it's awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Dude, like a bell, it's, it's sweet, a little bit spicy, sour. Mmm. Wow. Smells and dishes going. So outside they're cooking dishes too. There's a fish curry going. There's shrimp that's simmering down with some herbs and spices. The aromas, the steam, the cooking, everything is cooked traditional. Most dishes are cooked in clay pots over fire. The clay pots just build up the flavor and keep using the clay pots and that's one of the, the, the traditional ways of cooking in Sri Lanka. And this is going to be a feast that I, I can't wait. The whole chair on it, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> coconut milk and shredded coconut is an essential ingredient in Sri Lankan food and cooking. And they oftentimes I've just seen the, the traditional coconut shredder just on a little like wooden stool, but this is the deluxe version. It's on like an office chair. And then over there she is slicing the gotu kola, which is um, in English it's pennywort leaves. I remember that from my last trip to, to Sri Lanka. It's a, it's a really green, really healthy, really like earthy tasting herb. Really good. Brinjal curry? Uh, the moju, moju. Whoa, it's that. moju. Yeah. The eggplant, right? Eggplant, Brinjal? Yeah. Brinjal. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a slow process, you good? right? It's a bit um, uh, goraka, which is... Um, uh, you, you can have a taste. Can taste so. oh, okay, it's okay to taste? Yeah. yeah. Peace? Yeah. Very spicy, okay? Okay. And we Kambodja. 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 So, yeah. Oh, Garcinia. So, yeah. This is a fish curry with Garcinia and then spices. There's curry leaves in it, there's chilies in it. And this is a favorite of yeah. oh, many in this region. Yeah. 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 And it, it's, it's specifically she a southern. She makes it the best out of the family. Makes so, it like, the you best. Know, we come all the way here to just try it. Auntie <laughs> makes it the best. <laughs> and the longer um, you keep it, the better the flavor is. Oh, because of, because of that. So you can actually with keep the, it with for a month. Right? Apple like, would be sour. Like. Yeah. Ah, because that's a Garcinia is very sour, yeah, yeah. right? So it's Garcinia is sour fish. very yeah. sour fish. Okay, taste testing. Oh, yeah. Mmm. That's wonderful. Oh, the black pepper in there too. You taste the black pepper. You taste the sourness of it. Oh, the sourness actually like keeps on humming. And Uchi says that adding some coconut balances the flavor. So that's the fresh grated coconut on top of that. Yeah. Oh wow, that is stunning. Yeah, that is flavor. The coconut milk. Yeah. This is just an incredible tropical paradise. The greenery, the fruits, the vegetables and herbs and spices. It's, oh man, coconuts are just blooming. Prawns are done? Oh, here they come out right now. Oh, what a dish. 
couple. It's getting ready to cook a couple dishes. Fish roe tuna, tuna eggs, tuna roe curry. Uh, but you just gotta check out this, the design on the Sri Lankan stove style, traditional clay style. So the, the charcoal, the, the wood fire would burn down here. The clay pot sits above here. And then there's airflow on this side. So then coconut oil. There's onions, there's garlic, there's curry leaves, there's pandan leaves. That smells incredible already and the dish has just begun. The cuttlefish. I will, the boss. This is my mom's oldest girl. Cuttlefish. The greatest. chili powder, there's curry powder, there's pepper, I think that's tamarind, there's turmeric, he added all the spice in, and as soon as you add that in, it sort of like cakes up, and actually the fire is a little too low, so we're gonna take this back to the, to the kitchen, where the fire is a bit bigger. To continue the cooking, I'm following the fish egg curry. Just added in the fish eggs. Those are some big chunks of tuna fish eggs just sloshing around in that spice mixture with those onions. The fish eggs curry is ready now. Um, and what he did at the end is he kind of like popped the, the egg sacs to spill out all those eggs. You can really see that texture going on now. And look how many dishes are ready. They're all lining up. Recipe, I just, I just made Richie's it. Recipe? Yeah. So there's there's um, onions in here, there's chilies, chilies, there's chicken. Oh, well. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> chilies. Oh, yes, the, Yo, the viper Yo, chilies are. Can get in a price here. Look at this food. So everybody has arrived now. Most of the food, I think I think actually all the food is ready, but she is just last minute, she's crushing up some chilies the traditional way on. What I love in Sri Lanka is they use, it's like a slab of stone with a, a stone roller. And that just like, just annihilates, smashes the chilies. You can even hear them pop. Hear that Get pop. the sound of that. Yeah, that pop. We need that microphone right there. That crack it open already? No. I'm just been sucking on this bad boy. Well, there's not much meat on there left because it's all in my stomach. But <laughs> I had like four of them. Just a couple naked seeds. Oh Freaking yeah, baby. Amazing. Mark, we're doing a durian tour. Let's do a durian tour. We need to try them all. <laughs> we gotta eat. Go check all it out, my man. Oh yeah. Yes. How's that durian? Awesome. It's pretty good. Oh, amazing. thank you. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's so creamy. Mm. Okay, Uchi just brought over um, a family recipe. This is a, a pork curry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Amazing flavor. That skin crunches too. You get that crunch of that skin. The flavor is like a cake up of like curry paste on each piece of meat. Sweet potato. Oh, sweet potato. Yeah. Okay. Fried slices of sweet potato. Dusted and chili powder. Oh, man. Oh, and another durian. Ying, out durian, man. Mmm. Oh, this one is even better. Softer, a hint more of bitterness to it. Fire, yo. Mmm. cassava. Oh, so basically, yeah. sweet cassava uh, with the kochi sambal. You gotta put this on top of that. On top. There you go. There you go. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. Like a shredded cassava mashup. Yeah, mashup. With some of the mashup. pork curry. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Mm. That's amazing. That's like it's like shredded cassava, so it has a totally different texture. Well, like starchy. Mmm. Packed full of flavor. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's amazing.
The next one? Oh, the next two? Okay, yeah. with them. Two together. The chicken salad and the... Uh, and uh, uh, sweet potato. potato. Yeah. Guys, guys. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> the onions are amazing. Look at this. The onions. What's it? What's that? Nice. Nice. Citrusy taste. <laughs> oh, guys. We don't even know. We're just like <laughs> snacking out of control right now. We can't, we can't help ourselves. It's too good. Oh, wow. He's adding on the moringa leaves. Yeah. We're all lining up self-service. There's like at least there's like 12 different dishes plus a bunch of different garnishes, a bunch of different like pickles, a bunch of salads, there's rice, there's it's just a it's a bounty of a feast. It's beautiful. Amazing people, amazing hospitality, the generosity. It's like an all-time high of excitement, anticipation, and beauty of culture, food, and hospitality. Judy, show me. Look at this frame. I'm gonna go for a little bit of both rice. There's, there's white rice and there's red rice. Put the red rice on here. This one is the brinjal curry, and you can see that the, the brinjal is eggplant. It's fried, there's shallots in here, there's chilies in here. Kinda gotta like cup it, put it on. Penny wort mix, sambal. Oh, another dish. Oh, that one is the jackfruit curry. Jackfruit curry, right? The prawns curry, that you can see the cinnamon, you can see the curry leaves in here. Oh wow, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with a little bit of this sauce on my rice. Another sambal, but I think I think this is like made with something fried and crunchy. A dry curry, again made with uh, fish eggs, fish roe. I think this is also some type of a sambal with uh, coconut. It's over on the sambal side of my plate. This is a tuna curry, uh, but made with the the garcinia with that sourness. Oh wow, this is just unbelievable. This is the dish that we saw him fully prepare the fish eggs curry. Look at the look at the texture of that. You can see how he popped those egg sacs just to. So they let all the eggs just bloom out. This one, I believe, is coconut. We can see the curry leaves in here, and you can see the little baby shrimp. Yes, I think this is the one I tasted. This is the jackfruit curry. Oh man, hearty and rich and fulfilling. This one is the pineapple curry. Like string beans. Go on. I think this is a fish curry as well, right on top. Oh, the rice. You can no longer see the rice. Finish this off with a little bit of the mango chutney, which I also sampled, which is unbelievable good. Okay. You can, there is rice under here. Yeah. Okay, I tried to get everything, a little bit of all of the dishes, and there is rice below there, but it's just completely covered in just a, a layer of like, there's at least a dozen different curries here, plus all the garnishes, plus all the sambals, plus all the, it's just beautiful. I think I'm gonna begin with whatever is right in the center. I think that's a mix of both, um, I think that's a mix of the, the jackfruit curry plus some of the pineapple curry. You can see the curry leaves in there. Oh, wow. Mm. Got some of the pineapple curry in there. You got that sweet tart flavor. Plus the black pepper in there. There's almost like a like tomatoey jam. The squid here. Oh, and that's that's also the 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 fish roe curry as well. You can see that texture. The the fish roe just popping out of there. Oh wow! The fish roe is unbelievable. It has a really soft texture and a really smoky taste to it. And you taste that like roasted curry powder. Oh, that is spectacular. Revolve my plate over to those. The go to cola. Mm, mm, really green tasting. Really, you taste the coconut in there too, the shredded coconut. Actually, in that bite, I also had a bite of the, the eggplant, the brinjal's curry, which is, the eggplant is fried, then mixed with the spices. It has like a, a sweet caramelized taste to it. Wow. Okay, moving on to the shrimp now. I think I'm gonna eat this whole thing. He has to rinse okay. himself off with a hose. What's amazing is 
a lot of the dishes use similar spices and combos, but everybody, all of the dishes have a different, unique taste to them. A few different ingredients, and just, then just all of them together just form a harmony on your plate. They're all unique, they're all like ultra flavorful. The spices just stand out. The, the way they've been cooked over the fire, you taste the smoke in the dishes. Is this the jackfruit curry? Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. I missed a dish. This is a jackfruit curry with coconut milk. So pretty. The jackfruit is like, it's not fully ripe, but not fully young either. It has like some, it has different textures to it. You taste the seeds, which are more potato-y. Man, yeah. thank you so much. This food is- You're welcome, man. This, it is stunning. It's having you here. It's, it's really an honor to be here. Yeah. You guys have taken such good care of us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The authenticity of the food, everything about this. The company, our entire group, and their entire family. It's all having you here, man. Thank you. what you do. Thank you so much. And we are still like digging in. <laughs> yeah. I didn't realize that plate of food really added up. Yeah, you but had I'm, lot more than that. <laughs> dude, that was a that was a pretty massive plate of food. Yeah. I'm still working on it happily and just <laughs> loving every single bite. My, my taste buds are just overflowing with deliciousness. Final bite from this plate. I saved a, a last uh, fish. It, it's almost like a like a tube, like a like a shoot. Oh. Like the plates are deep. The food just keeps adding up. That was that was stunning. What is that? Mango. Mango is like super. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I almost almost forgot about the crab curry. That is the next dish. Oh wow. Oh, there. No. Drenched. <laughs> Drenched in juice, baby. Have you taken a couple showers during this? And love and life. I'm gonna have to go for another shower in a few minutes. <laughs> I think I might join you. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yep. Now you Please do. Again. I had almost forgotten about the crab curry. I'm just covered. Sweat, <laughs> snot, crab juice. <laughs> because it's the blue crab, it's like easier to crack that. Okay, I got that crab de shelled. Mix it with the sauce. Oh wow. Mm. Oh, the crab is stunning as well. Oh man. It's just. It's called Bombay Matai. Oh, when you bite that shell, just yeah. the juices just run out onto your chin. Oh man. Yeah, with these crabs, you don't even need the crackers. No, no, no. Bite into yeah, yeah, this type of blue crab, they just burst. Dude, this type of blue crab, that's one of the benefits of it, huh? Mm -hmm. The shell is so thin. And, it'll be full of, uh, this. and then the so juice, the, the curry just the like seeps into the crab, into the shell. And the meat is so tasty. So is it the mutant coconut? Huh? Yeah. No, it's called Diyakiri, right? So Diyakiri. Welcome to Waligama Food Festival. All right, I'm tapping out. Yes. Substitution. <laughs> It's all you, Mark. Dude, I need a shower with you. <laughs> you oh, wow. Yeah, the camera is covered in crab. My face is covered in crab and curry. Good thing there's a hose over here. <laughs> the, app, the post curry head this, is what, this is what's needed. Your turn. <laughs> okay. That's just too tempting. Oh yes. Oh wow. That feels wonderful. What a meal. Dude, the digestive sweats, the chili curry sweats. <laughs> the liquid is everywhere. Ah, Mark, but you have to try Matai, yeah? Oh, lucky or not? Lucky or not? Not lucky? See, that's a bit slimy there. Mm. Slimy, no? Yeah, I think I'm eating jelly. Oh, yeah. You see this? Yeah. It's like, it's like, it's like you don't get this in normal coconut. I'll show you. Jelly fried rice. Okay, now you see it. You see it. Yeah. It's like jelly, right? Inside? Yeah. So you had to put hakuru, right? Yeah. 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 You, put, uh, you put trickle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Three yeah. weeks. So, but you have to eat with the honey. Yeah. It's amazing. Hold on, hold on. Coconut. Oh, it's amazing. But it's the whole thing, huh? Yeah, hold on, hold on. Hit me, baby. Okay, cool. Sweet, Sweet nectar. Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now take it. Okay. Now try it. Wow. Oh, huh? first it's so soft. <laughs> it's so soft. It's, oh, soft. it's like gel, right? Look at this! Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Bring the figure. Bring the figure. Yeah. Where's the sugar? The syrup. 
palm sugar. Chili oh, görüyor musun? Ah, uh, sugar, sugar. Wow, wow. Yeah. Let me tell you if it's good first. Wait, wait. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, is it? Let me just have a bite. Okay. 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 It's so soft. It's so silky smooth. Oh, yeah. mm. Just like drowning it in the the like coconut sugar and palm palm syrup. Dikiri. 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 Paul, Paul Dikiri? Yeah. Yeah. Dikiri. That is like a rare breed of a mutant coconut. Waited three weeks to get five Dikiri coconuts. Yeah. And yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, it is a natural wonder of the world without a doubt. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ray. Awesome, man. Incredible. Amazing. Very nice meeting you. Thank you. You okay. too. Thank you so much. No problem, man. That was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, man. He is one of the chefs. Amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and your mama, for your amazing hospitality and for hosting us and for your food. It's Thank incredible. You. So incredible. Oh, you hit your, you hit your butt on the <laughs> Oh, oh wow. Okay, we made it back. Do not go on that slide after a huge meal. I just bottomed out. That was an unbelievable lunch. The food, the hospitality, the culture, the Sri Lankan culture. Uh, that was uh, an extraordinary, a memorable meal, a very special, a privilege to have that opportunity. I want to say a massive thank you to Uchit, uh, to Nick, to Lucky, to Uncle, to Auntie, to the entire Nelson family in Weligama. They, that was unbelievable, amazing food, amazing experience, and a learning opportunity. I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who prepared the food, everybody we interacted with and hung out with, um, to David the Hungry Tourist for arranging this entire tour. I'll have all of their links in the description box below so you can check them out. And I want to say a huge thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you on the next video.